Hello and welcome to a sensational cricket happening show and the reason that I say sensational is because the first test between Sri Lanka and Pakistan ended up with Sri Lanka winning the first test match by 21 runs and probably one would have not really expected it to such a great extent especially considering the fact uh, when the when the Sri Lankans today uh, were uh, were bowled out for 138 but uh, and they were given a target of uh, with the three runs lead it was a target of 136 runs and Rangana Hairat the past master played havoc with the Pakistani showing his experience as he bowled 21.4 overs, 4 maidens, 43 runs and 6 wickets. And can you believe it? Pakistan losing the match by 21 run runs at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. Sensational scenes. And Rangana Aherat also <coughs> with the last wicket of Mohamed Abbas. Uh, he also became the first left arm spinner to capture 400 wickets. Uh, in Tesma, the first left arm spinner in the cricketing world to have captured 400 wickets uh, in, a te in, um, in, in test in in his uh, in test matches. Uh, and let me tell you, this was tremendous stuff here at Sagzad Stadium in Abu Dhabi. So I'm going to look at that first for sure. Uh, and before that, uh, the Sri Lankans had a Real tough time against Yasir Shah who was spinning them like a wheel when he picked up 5 wickets for 51 to bowl them off 138. But after that the Pakistan batting really really <laughs> put up a poor display against some very good bowling uh, from Rangana Hirat in particular and Dilruan Pereira admirably supporting him and one never thought so. I mean probably uh, in the final day, yes, I definitely said yesterday that Rangana Ayarath could be a very, very, uh, could be the very, very key factor. And that's what precisely happened. Uh, that was, uh, that was really, really tremendous stuff happening at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium uh, in Abu Dhabi. So Sri Lanka now would be very happy with the result because they have one nil up in the two test series against Pakistan. So it shows that the, the Pakistan team uh, in the post Misbah Yunus Khan era, the first test match which was played without these two stalwarts who have retired, really proved to be a, a very, very, a very sort of a very sorry thing for Pakistan. Uh, but Sri Lanka would be, they were dancing, they would be dancing the aisles, no doubt about it. Uh, what a victory! 21 run victory for Sri Lanka. So I'll come back to that. And Bangladesh, uh, well, also surprised everybody. Uh, when chasing uh, the balance 375 runs, uh, they were really, really, absolutely sitting ducks for um, for South Africa. Uh, South Africa won by a huge margin of 333 runs to bowl them out for 90. So basically, they collapsed from uh, 49 for 3. Uh, that was yesterday, their overnight total. So you can imagine in 41 runs, they lost 7 wickets. That was a very, very poor display from Bangladesh. But let's first head off to this sensational match on the final day at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi and see what really happened. So Kushal Mendes <coughs> continued from yesterday. As you know, yesterday was really, really struggling. And today, yesterday is struggling in the spin. And he had uh, Suranga Lakmal as the night watchman. And uh, today, Mohamed Abbas troubled him a lot uh, by moving the ball away and then finally bringing one to trap him. Uh, leg before for 18 uh, with one boundary. So Kushal Mendes definitely uh, had a real struggle against uh, the Pakistani bowlers. Uh, Suranga Lakmal, uh, he was also a victim of the bowling of Mohamed Abbas for 13 with two fours. But after that, it was uh, Yasir Shah coming into the picture. Uh, Niroshan Dikwala was the only one uh, who really, even on this tr track which was actually turning, uh, played a wonderful, did a wonderful job at the audio, used the sweeps and reverse sweeps to good effect. And it's not Nilesh Dikwala is always an unorthodox player and that's what he did. <clears throat> and only in thanks to the main two, Nilesh and Dikwala, that uh, Sri Lanka managed to uh, be all out for 138. Uh, Pereira, and after that it was Yasir Shah picking up wickets uh, at a very, very regular rate. He, he got uh, Pereira LBW for six. Uh, and then Rangana Herath was out for not to the bowling of uh, uh, Farhat and Sanda, uh, sorry, Yasir Shah 
and Sandakan was also a victim of Yasser Shah. Fernando was cleaned up by Hassan Ali for naught, and that was all over. The Sri Lankans were bowled out for 138, and thus setting Pakistan a victory a target of 136 cents. And one thought that <coughs> Pakistan would probably do that. But let's have a look at the bowling. Well, in the main, Yasir Shah, 27 overs, 5 maidens, 51 runs and 5 wickets bowled excellently. Uh, Mohamed Ami, none for 27. Mohamed Abbas was impressive. 12 overs, 3 maidens, 2 for 22. Hassan Ali had picked up 1 wicket, 1 for 21. Uh, 3.4 overs, no maiden, 1 for 7 for such a fake. Harris Sohail, 5 overs, 2 maidens, 1 for 7. Now, Pakistan were chasing 136 runs for victory and it all started off with <coughs> Dilruan Pereira. In fact, uh, after Suranga Lakmal was given, Rangana Herath was immediately summoned into the attack, which was a good move. And uh, the first wicket to go uh, was the uh, left-handed batsman Sami Aslam, the opener, as he nicked into the hands of Karna Ratni. He was gone for two. Uh, Shan Masood's wicket was taken by Dilroan Pereira, who was also having his office really turn a lot on the final day at the Sage Raj Stadium in Abu Dhabi. He was gone for seven. Uh, after that, <coughs> Azhar Ali, uh, of whom one could have expected a more from this experienced bloke, he fell a victim to the bowling of Lakmal when Lakmal had him caught behind for not. That was the only wicket that a pace, Sri Lankan pace bowler got. After that, it was Herat and Pereira absolutely um, uh, wreaking havoc on them. Asad Shafiq, um, before that, Babar Azam was a victim uh, of the bowling of Pereira for three. And uh, finally, it was only Asad Shafiq and uh, the, uh, the Harris Sohail <coughs> who actually stemmed the rod. And Harris Sohail, uh, before that, they also lost, uh, uh, they, they uh, slowly started succumbing. 32 for four, it became 36 for four when Asad Shafiq uh, was taken by Karna Ratni of the bowling of Herat for 20. Uh, <coughs> But, uh, and Safraz Ahmed uh, did his bit, tried to <coughs> stay there at the wicket, but then he was stumped by Dikwala of the bowling of Herat for 19. And that left Harris Sohail and Hassan Ali at the crease. And Harris Sohail was the man, like in the first innings, being the highest scorer. He was the highest scorer with 34 um, of 69 balls, three boundaries before L uh, Pereira actually claimed him LBW. And after that, it was Herat, Herat, Herat. As Hassan Ali was clean ball to Herat for eight, Mohamed Amir lost his stumps to Herat for nine. And uh, then the final victory uh, cry there for the Sri Lankans as Mohamed Abbas was LBW ball Herat as Herat took his 400th wicket uh, of his test career. Yasir Shah was not on six. The game was over and the Pakistanis were bowled out for 114 uh, to leave the Sri Lankans victor, victors by <coughs> 21 runs. And I'm sure Sri Lanka would have not dreamt of this particular thing. But as I said, uh, one can really see the importance of those two great players who now uh, are not a part of Pakistan cricket. I'm talking about Ms. Baal Haq and Yunis Khan, the retired cricketers. How strong pillars they were for Pakistan. Uh, well, um, the, and then the bowling, Lakmal won for 12. But look at Rangana Herod's figures. 21.4 overs, 4 maidens, 43 runs. And he picked up six wickets. <coughs> Dilruan Pereira did an admirable job. 18 overs, 4 minutes, 3 for 46. And Suranga Lakmal, the lone pacer to get a wicket. 5 overs, 1 minute, 1 for 12. 2 overs, 1 minute, and 1 for 4 for Vishwa Fernando. Sandakan bowled 1 over for 4 runs. So Sandakan just bowled 1 over. And Rangana Herat and Dilruan Pereira were the ones who were given a real long run. And they definitely justified that by picking up wickets. Rangana Herat uh, for, uh, I mean, definitely was man of the match. And uh, I can only say that uh, Pakistan could have probably tried to see whether they could have put up a better performance here. But nevertheless, it was all over. Uh, Sri Lankans were the victors. And Sri Lanka will be very happy because after suffering the reverses uh, um, against India in uh, Sri Lanka, where they were trounced by India, as you remember, in all formats of the series, I thought uh, this was a good beginning for Sri Lanka uh, in their rebuilding phase. And uh, as I said, this is I, I always call this the rebuilder test series uh, with both the teams uh, having lost their stalwarts. So I would definitely say uh, that uh, Sri Lankans uh, did a wonderful job. They deserve true credit for that. And Rangana Herath in particular deserves massive credit for doing this to Pakistan. <coughs> and 
It was all over um, and uh, the, the match was done and dusted. And Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi was absolutely full of joy. Uh, jo not joy, basically, is, um, the Sheikh Zayed Stadium, is, as you know, they have more local supporters. Uh, a lot of uh, Pakistanis settled here in the United Arab Emirates. And uh, they would have been really, really shocked to see that Pakistan lost this match to Sri Lanka in Abu Dhabi. Well, uh, so well done Sri Lanka. So now the next match that I'm going to look at is the first test between Bangladesh and South Africa. It was very easily done at 49 for 3. Uh, the, uh, the, the, I mean, they, they just started off with their captain Mushfiqur Rahim at the crease along with, uh, I thought it was uh, yesterday on the last ball, we saw that uh, the wicket of Mominul Haq fell. So Mehmudullah was there, but uh, Khagiswar Rabada was the one who started it all uh, by rattling the timber of uh, Mehmudullah for nine with one four. <coughs> Litton Das could not do what he could do with the gloves to the bat as Rabada had him LBW for four. Uh, Sabir Rahman also was LBW this time to a spinner, uh, Keshav Maharaj for four. But Mushfiqur Rahim then fell, um, I mean, uh, and after that, once Mushfiqur Rahim, Mehmudullah, were gone. One knew that the exp this was definitely going to be difficult, but it was all done. In uh, I mean, the Sri Lankan, uh, sorry, the <coughs> Bangladeshi innings uh, totally were in total strife. As uh, Taskin Ahmed was uh, LBW, Sabir Rahman was LBW bowl Maharaj. Taskin Ahmed was LBW bowl Maharaj uh, for four. Shafiul Islam was run out for two, and Mustafa Rahman was caught and bowled Maharaj for one. To leave Medias and Miraz not out on 15 with 1 4 and 1 6. And the Bangladeshi is totally collapsing. It was not a good display at all. Uh, from 49 for 3, uh, having needing 375 runs for victory. They had all the time. Uh, they could have tried to save the match. But it, on the other hand, they totally succumbed to it as they were bowled out for 90. And uh, that was not good batting from the Bangladeshis. So 90 all out, Kagi Sorabada and uh, Kesho Maharaj, the spinner, doing all the damage. So Rabada, 10 over 3 minutes, 3 for 33. Uh, then Maharaj took 4 wickets, 10.4 over 1 minute, 25 runs and 4 wickets, bowled superbly, I thought, in this match. Uh, Markel, 5 was 2 minutes, 2 for 90 now. But in fact, Bangladesh were really happy, would have been very happy and they should have benefited from it. With Mone Markel not even taking part in proceedings. Uh, uh, after that side strain and it was Kagiso Rabana and Maharaj who delivered the goods for South Africa. Duan delivered 5.4 rows, 1 minute and 1 for 12, Philip Wayo won and that means that Bangladesh <coughs> got a victory by a massive margin of 333 runs and uh, it was all over. They took a 1-0 lead in the two test series. So wins for, a sensational win for Sri Lanka uh, against uh, Pakistan and a very easy win uh, for South Africa against Bangladesh and both going 1-0 one, one up in the two test series that's being enacted. Player of the match uh, going to Dean Elgar of, um, of South Africa. Well, dear fans, friends, subscribers, uh, there's not uh, much to really uh, dwell on. Uh, I think it's about time for me uh, to, uh, to say good night to all my dear friends and subscribers. And I will be seeing you tomorrow on my next cricket broadcast. Until then, it's good night.